asks us to sketch the angles in a standard position. I didn't say standard position, but this means to draw them in standard position. So on the right I have, uh, to the best of my ability, a circle drawn, and we're going to draw these as if they're embedded on the unit circle at their correct positions. Okay, so 2 pi over 3, or in each graph, we always start off with the positive x-axis as our beginning point. And so knowing these values generally would be best done by uh, really practicing with your unit circle and understanding that the circumference of a unit circle is 2 pi. So 2 pi over 3 means we're going to extend from the starting point right here at, uh, at 1 comma 0 in, on a unit circle and we're going to move around 2 pi over 3. So in other words 2 pi over 3 would be uh, since the whole is 2 pi for a circle this would be one third of the way around the circle. So this is going to go here and it's going to extend past the pi over 2 and it's going to go over here to about 2 pi over 3. So this would be the angle that would be represented by 2 pi over 3. And this would be sketching the angle for 2 pi over 3. Now in green, notice that the green value is negative. Negative means to move clockwise as opposed to counterclockwise. So negative 5 pi over 6 is slightly less than 6 pi over 6, right? It's a little bit less than a full pi. So we're going to start here. We're going to move in a clockwise direction and we're not going to go halfway through the circle. We're almost going to go halfway, but not quite halfway. So this rate down here, which is not the halfway point, is going to be 5 pi over 6, but in a negative direction. So it doesn't go all the way to pi, but it goes to 5 pi over, negative 5 pi over 6. Now in the red, it asks us to do 7 pi over 4. So I'm going to start here. Positive, so we're going to move counterclockwise. And so we're going to start counting around. Let's see, there's a pi over 4, a 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. So this one's going to be extended this way, but it would have come along almost all the way around the circle before you hit 7 pi over 4, which is over here. Okay, why don't you try a handful on your own here? Try these three angle measures. Negative pi over 3, 3 pi over 4, and negative 3 pi over 2. Assuming you tried it on your own, I'll do it here and see if you get the same answer as I do. So you can start at the beginning here. Start at 1, 0 on a unit circle. Negative, so we're going to move clockwise, and we're going to move a third of a pi. So remember, pi is half the circle, so we're going a third of a half, or a sixth of the circle, so we're going to be right about there probably. This one is about negative pi over 3. Green, we're going to go 3 pi over 4, but this one's going to be in a positive direction, or counterclockwise. So starting here we'll go 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, and therefore there's the angle of 3 pi over 4. And as the final example, we'll go negative 3 pi over 2. So again, starting at 1, 0, we're going to move 3 pi over 2 in a clockwise direction. So there's 1 pi over 2, and here's 2 pi over 2. Notice that's at pi. And there's 3 pi over 2, and so that's the angle of negative 3 pi over 2. We moved clockwise 3 pi over 2 many radians.